CRISPR is a family of DNA sequences in bacteria. The recognition of these sequences form the basis of genome editing technology known as CRISPR-Cas9. This allows scientists to make permanent modification to genes within organisms. CRISPR stands for Clustered Regularly Interspaced Short Palindromic Repeats, which describes the pattern of the DNA in these particular sequences. Using guide RNA, Cas9 can accurately recognize and cut the desired sequence of DNA in a cell's genome, allowing existing genes to be removed or new ones added. Technology for making changes to an organism's genome has many potential applications, including agriculture and medicine, and is one of the most promising strategies for genetic engineering and gene therapy. Cas9 is a relatively large protein, and thus the direct delivery of this macromolecule inside cells is a challenging task. CRISPR scientists typically transfect cells with a plasmid containing instructions to make Cas9. However, this isn't ideal as it might result in permanent DNA recombination and persistent expression, which could have adverse effects. Scientists have put forward what they describe as the first non-covalent supramolecular strategy using a penetrating peptide for delivering the CRISPR-Cas9 enzyme into cells. This is a new method for delivering Cas9 directly into cells and uses a penetrating peptide vehicle. The peptide vehicle consists of amphiphilic peptides connected via a hydrozone bridge to hydrophobic tails. The positive sides of the amphiphiles complex with Cas9 to form nanoparticles that the team use to deliver the Cas9 into the living cells. The strategy is supramolecular in essence, as it involves the electrostatic interaction of the positively charged peptide and the negatively charged proteins, without the requirement of any covalent fusion between peptide and protein. The team have used their peptide delivery method to edit HeLa cell genomes with a similar efficiency and less toxicity than one of the best methods reported so far. It is hoped that this work will encourage the search and development of conceptually new synthetic systems for direct delivery of endonucleases.